grinding in a major way. Cause I'm winning. Cause I'm winning. Uh huh. Cause I'm winning. Got my game face with time to play. Cause I'm winning. Better strap up and lace your jeans. Cause I'm winning. Uh huh. Cause I'm winning. Cause I'm winning. Talking? I even saw him go over and hug a Georgia player. I might be crazy, but Matt. Is there hugging in rivalries? No, there's no hugging in football, period, until the game's over. You can't, that's that's just a rule. I don't know if it's written down anywhere, but it isn't, it should be. <laughs> well, if you take away all that jawing at center field, there wasn't too much woofing. <laughs> How about it? 48 degrees at kickoff, no appreciable win. Georgia won the toss and will receive. So, uh, kickoff comes off the foot of Scott Blair and down to the goal line to Brandon Smith. The true freshman. Tough run. Made it all the way out to the 26 yard line. Two tight ends in the game and it's Caleb King. Straight ahead for the first down out to the 38 yard line. Lock that got them fired up over there. Second down and nine. Caleb King nice hold again left side and another first down on the ground for Georgia. 92. Opening drive of the game. Georgia with eight plays, all of them runs, and here they come on the ground again with Sean Ely breaking tackles. Great move at the 15, inside the five, and out of bounds near the two. Coordinator moved down to the field at midseason to call the plays. Dials up Caleb King, touchdown. They made it look easy. Starting to the right this week, Joe Cox, Rennie Curran, they all said the same thing. The team was still very motivated. Entire game last year in Athens, and it was on the first play from scrimmage. Trying to repeat that history, they could not. That's more like it as far as Georgia Tech is concerned. Nesbitt on the run. Outs for the year on third down. Best in the ACC, third best in the country. And Nesbitt's pass is complete to Demarius Thomas. He's out of bounds. Shotgun quarterback in high school ran about 90% of his plays out of the shotgun. A late pitch. Marcus Wright ripped away from the hit. The fans wanted a face mask. They're not, but still, he's the first to admit he should have made it. And he wasn't the only one who deserved blame on that play. Anthony Allen is smothered. Justin Houston again. Seven yard try for the junior from Calhoun, Georgia. And it is no good. After the missed field goal, Ely remains the tailback. And again, plenty of running room, first down, and much more. Out of bounds at the 30. With under two minutes to go in the first quarter, Georgia leading 7 to nothing. Caleb King lost the football. That old nemesis for Georgia. Who has it? Derek Morgan, the great defensive end, knocked it out. And the Yellow Jackets recover. Steven Sylvester. They're at the Georgia 25. With the backup quarterback, J. Bo Shaw, still in there on the delay. Jonathan. But good job by the Georgia defense. Here's Blair from 42 yards, and this time he's on the money. First and 10. Joe Cox will throw again. Low throw, and it's incomplete. Deafening noise from the Yellow Jacket fans. High formation for George on third and seven. Cox throws it in the flat. First down. Nicely done. Only consistently, Randy Moss. The boot away and Griffin both on the field for the Georgia Tech defense. Ealy with huge holes flying down the sideline. And it was Cedric Griffin who raced back to help Morgan Burnett get him on the ground. 15 yard line, first and 10, leading 7 to 3. Up the middle, Caleb King. They're playing the volume which they're playing that noise through the PA system with Georgia on offense. Cox under duress throws it away. Lou Bro Brozo Ward is the best place kicker in the country. And that one's good from 22 yards. Jonathan Dwyer lines up. Shaw faked it to him and wants to throw a deep ball for Demarius Thomas. And it is intercepted. Rashad, Georgia Tech. Those got forgotten. And he had the miscue on the game winning touchdown by the Jackets. Caleb. And another gaping hole for Rashad Ely. 
Boy, this offensive line's done a tremendous job. Hoping for another stop in the red zone to force a field goal try. Cox with time, runs out of it, throws, touchdown! Michael Moore, the senior from Fort Lauderdale. 13-yard catch. And the Bulldogs are up by two touchdowns late in the first half. Let you know how good it feels. And it's an offense that doesn't know what that 20th play run by Georgia Tech. Georgia's run 35. Peoples, nice cut, first down. Receiving yards per game. But when they throw it to him, it's usually a big hitter. Nesbitt is smoked. Back on the other side of midfield. Georgia defensive coordinator, many believe his job will be terminated. He'll be terminated when the season's over. Third down, three. Quick throw, Demarius Thomas uses the stiff arm. There he goes! They have an angle, but will they catch him? No! Touchdown, 76 yards! There is nickname given to him by grandmother's Bebe. And the extra point up and good. And Georgia keep the offense going with powerful football. There's Caleb King. He may go. Running away from the defense. Touchdown. 75 yards. Blair Walsh on for the extra point. Well, I guess they play response from Georgia Tech. Nesbitt, the toss. Anthony Allen, the transfer from Louisville, didn't go. Getting arrested the moment. Nesbitt, the pitch. Roddy Jones into Georgia territory to the. Nesbitt stops, reverses field. He's in trouble and dropped for a loss. Lost a yard. Back home. And Nesbitt will throw it. And has to throw it on the run. And it is caught. Now Marius Thomas. He's out of bounds, but he has the first down. Marked out at the 27th by winning the Coastal of the ACC. They're seventh in the country. Nesbitt pitches it. Anthony Allen, first down. And a good tackler, he might have gone the dip. Dwyer lunging, touchdown! There. They said it was 2.30 before Thanksgiving. 2.35 when he came back. <laughs> Extra point up and good from... No gain on the play. Ely rips through another big hole. It is remarkable. Categories. Second and 12. Cox the pump fake. There it is again. It is caught. Is it inbounds? Yes. Yes, it is. He's going to throw. And a blitz coming. And Cox gets it off. But the ball is loose. No signal from the officials. Now, now an incomplete pass. I looked like a 38 yards for Blair Walsh. And it is good, just inside the right upright. Penalties and turnovers, and yet they keep on coming. Nesbitt lost the ball, and Georgia has recovered a fumble for just the second time this year. Geno Atkins scooped it up. He was down at the 40, but they'll take over. George Caleb King is the tailback. Play action fake. And a catch for a first down to the 27-yard line. Team staff expected to see all season long. Executing on both sides of the ball. And the country has fewer than three fumble recoveries. Big third down and three. Cox had to pull it down, and he is sacked. Back of the 25 by Logan Wall. First sack tonight for Georgia Tech. Here's Walsh having the brilliant season from 43 yards. Just give him the Lou Groza award right now. Holy smokes. Lou the toe would be Walsh to kick off. And his third field goal of the night. Daniel McCahan back there, and he'll run it back from the five. 
And that's another problem. It's been much criticized. Here's Stephen Hill, the freshman, breaks free. They had a chance to get him. Now he's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Vince has come up with tonight. And it's Dwyer. He got enough for the first down before he got driven. And given the history. Nesbitt trying to set up a screen. Demarius Thomas has running room. And he's very close to a first down. Looks like he's crowding the ball on that line of scrimmage. Nesbitt again. Touchdown. Well, they'll replay that one again. The same guy put his arms up. You never know. Blair will try to make it a six-point game. 13 play, 56 yard. 520 to go as they snap it. Another run blitz. Caleb King breaking tackles. To the Georgia Tech Ford. Four minutes taken off the clock by Georgia. Now perhaps points. And it's King, and that's a loss. And that's going to make it a mere beyond 40 yards. This would be the longest of his career. It is long enough. It is no good. Wide left, just his second miss of the season. People in the box as possible. They don't go to that inside pitch that's giving them problems. They go outside for the first down. Roddy Jones, the hero on the field with single coverage, bottom of the screen. Nesbitt, another bomb down the seam, and it is incomplete. Rashad Anthony Jones. Allen defended away from an upset win. Nesbitt. Fourth straight pass, has his man dropped, dropped. Demarius Thomas, one of the best receivers in the country, dropped the ball. And George is going to win the game. He went to his best guy versus the zone, ran the corner off, Boykin was done. Everything's right, right to the end. Well thrown ball. He even looked it in. They wonder he was looking into the sideline to get out of bounds. They had to go down and get six instead of three. They did that. They shut down Dwyer. He averages 109 yards per game. He had 33 on 14 carries. And now some ugliness after the kneel down. And let's hope it doesn't evolve into more than that. The teams are starting across the field. And they're telling him, no, let's let the clock run out. We had some shouting matches, and the teams had to be separated before the kickoff. It's been a terrific game, and a credit to both schools, and you'd hate to see it marred by something. Be sure to tune in to ABC Saturday Night Football next week, 8 Eastern time, for the 2009 Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship game, Nebraska and Texas. Now for Matt Millen, Holly Rowe and our crew, Sean McDonough saying, good night from Atlanta. Let's send you back to the studio. Thank you.